everyone, it is Hannah, your sparkling Spectrumite, and welcome to a kit up and chat. So I've been doing whip and chats, and I film every Thursday and post them on Friday, but since I was nearing the completion of my last work in progress, which was Alice in Snow White by Craftably, I figured it was time to start kitting up on my next project. So hopefully everyone is doing well. I hope everyone's doing good, having a good day. I know I'm doing pretty good. It's kind of cloudy and overcast today, so it's actually really nice. It just feels like a really pretty fall day. And here in the Midwest, it's like the leaves are finally changing colors into those oranges and reds. So it's just really pretty and it's, it's very, very nice. So I thought today'd be fun to kit up my next project. So I decided that for the months of November and December, um, I was definitely going to do holiday ones because I'm just ready to kind of see holiday ones. And also I like to do holiday diamond paintings and actually have them ready before, you know, kind of the holidays. That way I can actually enjoy them during the holidays. So that's kind of how I do things. So I'm gonna be doing two uh, diamond paintings and the first one that I'm gonna be doing is this super cute one this is called spaghetti breakfast and it's by diamond art club and it measures 13 by 13 inches or 33 by 33 centimeters it is a round drill kit and it's just I thought it was so cute so it's kind of like this little I guess what cheaply I think is what you call them and I just thought this was like the cutest little snack size kit. And especially after working on Alice in Snow White, which was a, you know, 24 by 36 inch canvas, it's kind of ready to kind of, you know, do something a little smaller just to start off with. But I'm so excited about this. I got this, I think this was released back in August. And at the filming of this video, I believe right now they're sold out. But, you know, who knows? Maybe they'll get some more before Christmas time. I would hope so, because I just think this is, like, the cutest little canvas ever. And I thought the box was really cute. Um, Elf is one of my favorite Christmas movies. It's one of my daughter's favorite Christmas movies. So I thought it'd be really fun. So I thought, not only will I kit, up, kit this up, but I figured, you know what? Let's just go ahead and unbox it. So we're going to just go ahead and get started. So I had already taken off the plastic wrapping. Mm -hmm. But this is the first time I've actually taken it out of the box, so I'm pretty excited. So with every Diamond Art Club canvas, you get your tool kit, and I'll just take the contents out of it really quickly. Most people know what's in a Diamond Art Club tool kit, but I'll just get it out real fast. So the tool kit, let's see here. All right, so with every Diamond Art Club tool kit, you get kind of a nice little mixture of goodies. So you get a pen, so a diamond painting pen, which is it's nice green color, very festive. And then, oh, there's one more thing in here. Let me empty that out, okay. So just gonna put the bag down here. You get some multi-placers, you get a four-placer, and I believe this is a, what is this? Oh, seven-placer. So you get these thin, Plastic placers, if you're a multi-placer that is, so it comes with those. You get little baggies, individual baggies if you wanna kit up in those. You get a little squishy for your pen to give it better hold or better grip if you want. You have your wax caddy here. And, ooh, cap came off, put that back on. Uh, you get some washi tape which this one looks like it's got bunnies and carrots on it. That's cute. So, you know, we'll save that for another time. You get a cover minder. So I've got this little like sparkly heart. It's got a magnet on the back and a cover minder is for to hold your plastic back, the plastic that's over the canvas. When you're working on a section, you can peel that plastic back and this holds it back. You put the top of it on top of the plastic this small magnet on the bottom clicks together, and there you got it. And they have your little tray. So, yeah. So that's what's in a typical kit. So I'll go ahead and 
Put those aside. I think we kind of all know, but I figured, you know, why not? Why not just see? I like the green pen. It's very festive. It's very elf-like. So I'm just going to put that to the side here. So here we go. So I'm going to take this out of the box. I love this box. It's so cute. But I'm going to put it to the side. So got our small canvas here. And then you have your um, sticker here, which is super cute. You can, oops, sorry. You can use this for your log book. So I think that's super cute. I love this image. I love it because he's got his spaghetti and his candy corn and his maple syrup. He's got all the elf food groups. So let's take a look at the canvas. So the canvas always comes in like a dust bag. So I'm already loving this size. Like it's just kind of nice. You know, after you work on a big project, it's kind of nice to, you know, have something that's just a little smaller. So, oh my gosh. Okay. So let me see here. <gasps> that is so cute. Oh my goodness. All right, let me make sure it's in frame here. Okay, so with a poured glue canvas, because Diamond Art Club is poured glue, which is really nice, uh, what you can do is you can just uh, roll it back like this with the image facing on the outside. And just kinda, because these are self-flattening. But if you want to help it a little, you know, help it along a little, you can roll it like this, right? And just make sure those ends are kind of tucked in. So kind of why I have it rolled, so, or rolled, you can kind of just see that, you know, kind of has your information in the corner. Again, 13 by 13 inches or 33 by 33 centimeters. It's got a little image down there. It's got, you know, all the Facebook and Instagram information for Diamond Art Club. It's got your lifetime warranty. So that's all at the bottom of your canvas. So let's see here. Let's see if this will kinda, kinda even out a little bit or flatten out. Usually it does, so. Okay, move my sticker here. Sticker was a little bent up, but that's okay. Okay, so hopefully this will lay a little flatter. There we go. It's still a little creased, and maybe it's because it's just like kind of a smaller canvas, but look how cute that is. Oh my goodness. So as you can see, um, really, this is really mostly color blocking. I mean, it is, uh, it is all color blocking. So that's why I thought this would be kind of a fun little project because it should work up pretty quickly and as you can see, so on a Diamond Art Club canvas, and actually what I can do, you can kind of peel back the plastic too. And kind of, I just do the corners and then I kind of smooth it back out. And then that kind of flattens it a little more. So let me kind of do each corner here. Kind of peel it back and then smooth it out. Oh, it's looking a little better. He's so cute, guys. Oh my goodness. <laughs> I love it. So the reason why I had to do this earlier is because my daughter, who again, she loves Elf. She loves that movie. It's one of her favorite, you know, Christmas movies. And, you know, she wanted like a Christmas decoration for her room. So she's like, Mom, do the Elf diamond painting and then I can put it in my room for a Christmas decoration. So that's kind of why we're doing this. So there we go. So it's kind of nice and flattened out. So it's got a key on one side, it's got a key on the other. And as you can see, um, or I guess I can show it a little higher up. So this kit has only got 17 colors. Uh, but the cool thing is, is out of the 17 colors, I'm super excited. It's got um, five ABs. And the way that you know an AB is anything on, for Diamond Art Club, anything under 150 is going to be an AB. So you've got 107, 113, 120, 131, and 134. So for 17 colors and only in five of them are ABs, I think that's going to be really fun. That's going to be just so festive and fun and sparkly. And I think will be a really fun kit. So I'm going to move this up a little bit. And I'm gonna put the label right there for right now. So here's my little pack of drills. 
and they're all labeled. Ooh, I can already see some of the ABs. Ooh, there's a pink AB. Okay, I'm excited. So we're gonna kit this up. Again, pretty small. So this shouldn't be too much to kit up. And then obviously you have your, um, you have this, which you can also use for a logbook if you want to. And then you have your uh, removable stickers here and each one is cut individually, which is really nice. So, so what I'm gonna do today to kit up is I'm going to use, so I'm gonna kind of push this forward a little bit. So I'm gonna use my new art dot set. So if you hadn't seen on Monday, I posted a video because Art Dot had reached out to me and sent me some products, which was very generous of them. And they sent me a four drawer set, which had all together 128 of these little jars, which I thought was awesome that you could kit up in. So I thought, you know what, what a great way. I will use this then to kit up um, spaghetti breakfast. So I thought this was perfect. So that's exactly what I'm gonna do. So I'm gonna move this aside here and we'll see how well I do kidding up and talking at the same time. So here we go. So I'm just gonna take the drawer out, which is nice. It just slides right out. And I think this time, so usually when I kid up, I do something a little different. So for example, usually when I kid up, I just number my containers with like one through however many colors there are on the canvas. I don't put the code or the, DM, uh, the DMC number or anything like that. That way I never have to relabel and I just reuse it. So that's usually how I cut up. However, I thought, you know what, since this is a little different and I thought it might be uh, cool to use this, I think what I'm gonna do is use the stickers. I mean, why not? I never use them so I figured, why not? And I kind of want to see too, it's kind of me experimenting at the same time, like how easily they'll come off these jars. So I'm just going to label each of my jars and I'm just going to do it like that. I'm just going to put, sorry, hopefully there we go. I'm just going to put each sticker on the jar lid like that. And I'm just going to do it that way. So I'm just going to go through real quick. And as I'm doing this, Kind of talk about what's been going on this week so um let's see so this week what did i do really uh this week was pretty uneventful so okay so i filmed this last thursday and posted on friday so let's see so last friday was pretty calm day um the really only thing i did friday it was a friday before halloween is um I did go out that evening and I met up with some friends of mine. So I have uh, three really good friends who are teachers. They are still actively teaching and in the classroom. And so we hadn't got together forever. Usually we get together, you know, at least once a month. And just we hadn't this year. It's just it's just been since school had started. It's just been really crazy. So it was fun. So we got together and uh, went out, had some pizza, and just really got to talk and catch up. And so that was really good because we had not been all together in a long time. So I really enjoyed that. I really, um, it was just fun. I really needed that. And you know, sometimes you just need that time to catch up with your girlfriends or, or you know, if you're a guy watching your guy friends or you know, just have that camaraderie. So did that, so that was fun. So did that Friday, and then Saturday, it was weird. Saturday, um, I don't know, and it's funny, because you know people would be like, oh, Hannah, maybe you were hungover or whatever, but I wasn't. But Saturday, I just wasn't feeling that great. Um, I sometimes, I, I have a like kind of some chronic inflammation, and so just sometimes it affects me, and uh, it just, you know, it did that day, and I just didn't feel the best, so. I kind of just took it easy, stayed home, did some diamond painting. But then that night, um, our uh, church had uh, like a trunk or treat event. And I felt bad because I just wasn't feeling up to it. So, you know, luckily uh, my husband, he took our daughter uh, to uh, mass and then right after mass was the trunk or treat. So that worked out well. So uh, they went trunk or treating. 
and had fun. And I just kind of chilled and stayed at home, which was really nice. I enjoyed it. Can't complain. And yeah, did that. So, and then thankfully by Sunday, uh, I felt a lot better, you know, probably by Sunday afternoon, I was feeling better and I wasn't so like achy and cause that's kind of what happens. Like I just get like, I almost feel like I get, um, like flu like aches and it just, it really can sometimes take a toll on me. So, but thankfully I felt better and you know, I was glad because Sunday there was another, uh, university volleyball game and my daughter had been wanting to see one since the first time we had taken her. So, all right, so there we go. Look at that, got them all numbered. So as you can see, with plenty of extras. So now let's start putting them. So that was kind of easy. I like that. I'd never used the, the tear off labels before, guys, but I have to admit that that is kind of nice. All right, so I'm gonna put that up there. So, yeah, so we went to a volleyball game. Uh, on Sunday, we took her because this time uh, our, our team was playing, it was like the, the number one uh, team in the league. Um, so they play, I always forget which league it is, but it's Division One Volleyball. And it's, I forget, it's like the American something league. And ooh, these colors are looking pretty. Oh my goodness, some of these ABs are awesome. Oh my goodness, guys, I'm excited. Let me get my pair of scissors. So anyways, um, so here guys, I'll just show you these first ABs. Because they're really pretty. Look at that, you can see it. I love it. All right, so this is 134. So 134 is right here. So yeah, so we went to another volleyball game and I think it was like their last home game of the season because the volleyball season is ending uh, pretty soon. And guys, I'm bad. I don't use a funnel or anything when I kid up. I just really try to be careful and just kind of cross my fingers and hope that I don't spill everywhere. So, but sometimes those ones that get stuck on the bottom, you really need to kind of tap. There we go. There, all right, got them all out, cool. So yeah, went to the volleyball game, and that was super fun. And then, uh, unfortunately, because this opposing team that our team was playing, they were like the best team in the league. So sadly, unfortunately, our team lost. It was, it was, it was a heartbreaker. But, uh, you know, they played well, and ooh, guys, this is another, so this is the, the other AB. Now, there are some greens mixed in there, but look at that pretty orange AB. Super cute. So our team lost, and that was okay, but it was kind of funny, because, um, so, you know, my daughter, she was never a big sports watcher in, until now. Like, she's loving watching these university volleyball games. And it, and so of course they lost, and she was pretty she was pretty sad about it, and like I couldn't help it because my husband and I we we watch sports. I mean I don't watch it as much as my husband does. Like he can watch it, you know, all day, you know, the uh, like all day. We're you know like I'll choose one game, and then that's about it. You know I'm pretty good, and. Um, it was kind of funny because my daughter was so disappointed and we're like, ah, yes, she's, she's learning the, the lesson of what happens when you get really wrapped up in a sports team and then they lose. <laughs> so we're just kind of like laughing about it because it's like, ah, yes, welcome to the world of, of rooting for a sport and then they, they disappoint you. <laughs> so anyways, like it was like, yeah, so, but she handled it well, and it was it was pretty funny, but um, yeah, so she was a little disappointed, but it was all good. All right, so here's another AB, guys. Here's that 113, so it's that really pretty cute pink AB. How cute is that? So 113, all right. And yeah, so we went to a volleyball game, and then that same day, uh, my in-laws, 
who uh, live actually close to the, they kind of live close to the university, not that far away. Uh, they always, my mother-in-law is always really sweet. She always makes kind of this really cute, like almost like Halloween goodie basket for uh, our daughter because she, she's the only grandchild. So, you know, of course she kind of gets like spoiled rotten and um, had asked, you know, hey, can you come over and we'll, um, we've got like this, this goodie bag that, you know, I want to give to, to Maggie. And so of course we're like, yeah, absolutely. So after the game, we came over and, ooh, guys, sorry, got to show you this one more. So I believe that's the last AB, but look at that. That's really pretty. Okay, so 107. <sighs> so we went over there and it was really sweet. My Grammy, or, or not my Grammy, her Grammy. She calls her Grammy. So my, my, uh, my mother-in-law goes by Grammy and then my mother goes by Nana. So those are the names for that, uh, Maggie calls her grandparents. And then, uh, my father-in-law is just, uh, grandpa. And then my, my dad is just Papa. So those are the, the names, but yeah, so we went over there and gave her a little goodie basket and of course it had already a ton of candy and remember the night before she'd already gone trunk or treating so by now she already has just oh my goodness just tons and tons of candy already she had like a full bucket like one of those halloween pails from the church's trunk or treating and then she had you know this big old goodie basket from my mother-in-law so yeah, needless to say, my daughter was totally taken care of on the candy front. So we visited them for a little bit and yeah, that was, that was about it for that. So did that and kind of just had a quiet evening, Sunday evening. And then of course, okay, so Monday, Monday was pretty uneventful. Uh, obviously it was Halloween and um, typically on Halloween, we take our daughter trick-or-treating. Um, usually it's my husband who takes her trick-or-treating and then I'm usually the one who stays behind and I hand out candy because uh, we're really fortunate. Um, we live in a pretty uh, trick-or-treating friendly neighborhood. It's definitely, we usually get um, a ton of trick-or-treaters and it's just really fun. Like it definitely reminds me of kind of when I was growing up, how we'd go trick or treating and everyone's super nice. And, um, you know, our neighborhood, it's, you know, we feel really fortunate cause it's a, it's a really safe neighborhood. And these are like really static and not wanting to come out. Like they're like sticking really bad guys. These are like uber static. Let's see if I can stick it to my finger there. Sorry. These are like not wanting to come out. Okay. Maybe they will now. Oh my goodness. Static drills really annoy me, guys. I gotta admit, they're not fun. So I'm just gonna try. Thankfully, there's not that many. It's not like a huge bag, but kind of annoying here. I don't know. If anyone has any tips for static drills staying in the package, let me know because this is kind of annoying. But let's see. There we go. Almost got him. Almost, almost, almost. Last one. Ah, okay. Oh, nope, there's one more. I know, guys, because there's not a lot in here, so I feel like I need to get, like, every single one. And now there's these little pink ones. Oh, good, these are sticky. Ooh, look at that. They're, like, sticking. Up. These are really staticky. Something was going on with these pink ones. Holy moly. Okay, there we go. Got them all in. Heh. Victory. Or, oh, no, that one came out. <gasps> Not a victory. There we go. Okay. Sorry about that. Holy moly. There's like a rogue drill. There we go. Okay. Anyhow, sorry about that, guys. That was like, that was fun. Um, so anyways, our neighborhood is just really super trick-or-treating friendly. And oh, I was wrong, guys. Here's, here's one more, A.B. Sorry, I lost count really pretty blue color all right so yeah so our neighborhood is very trick-or-treating friendly and uh this time my uh younger sister she came over because she went to take she's got two sons who are um 
five, uh, no, six and uh, three. And so she came over and was taking her sons to our neighborhood trick-or-treating. So this time uh, I went to go take uh, Maggie trick-or-treating and walked with my sister and her sons. And my husband uh, stayed back and handed out candy. So it was kind of nice because usually I'm the one who stays behind and hands out candy. And this year I got to walk around, which I always enjoy because um, a lot of people in our neighborhood, you know, they'll decorate their houses. And I always like, you know, seeing what other kids are dressed up as. And, you know, that sometimes even the parents dress up too with their kids. So I really enjoyed seeing that. I had fun. So yeah, I mean, and honestly, we really didn't make it a late night. Um, you know, we knew that, uh, so first of all, I mean, Halloween was already on a school night. So we weren't going to make it, you know, a late night anyways. And also, we knew that um, November 1st for us is All Saints Day. And we go to Mass on All Saints Day. And we knew that the only Mass we were going to be able to make was the 7.30 a.m. Mass before school and all that. So we knew that we probably weren't going to make it, you know, too late of a night. Because, uh, yeah, you know, we had, we had an early morning Mass to go to the next day. So, yeah. So kept in early night, but it was fun. I mean, Maggie had fun. Of course, had another, you know, full bucket of candy. So she was set. And, yeah, it was just, it was a really nice Halloween. It was pretty, pretty calm, actually. Like, it wasn't that eventful, but it was fun. You know, got a good dose of, uh, trick-or-treaters the only thing is like so I usually buy a ton of candy so I'm one of those people when I hand out candy um you know I I like to be the person that kind of gives like the small handful of candy that's how I am um and so I told my husband that I was like hey I bought enough candy where you should be able to give out you know a small handful you know so like you know, like you know that usually equates to like four pieces or so and I had told him that uh, before I went out, you know, to go take my daughter. And so I'm like, yeah, so, you know, just make sure, you know, we got plenty, we should be all right. And of course he was still, I guess, worried that we'd run out. And I said, no, really, like we, we should be fine. So he was like only handing out like two pieces. And so, sure. And so when we got back, you know, there were still trick-or-treaters, you know, Maggie was just done. She's usually, she doesn't trick-or-treat for that long. Like, about an hour and then she's pretty happy. She's like pretty content. So we get back and you know, my husband's still handing out candy and there was still so much. And I was like, oh my gosh, like how much candy have you been handing out? And he's like, oh, well, I've been keeping track. Like I've been, <laughs> I've been giving up two pieces each. And I said, no, like start giving it out more because I did not want all this leftover candy in the house. I was like, no, you've got to start, like, just like start doling it out. Because that was another thing too, because, you know, our neighborhood um, also, most people were, you know, gonna turn off their lights at a certain time, because again, it was a school night and most people weren't trick or treating late in our neighborhood. So I was like, no, you have to start, you know, really doling it out, like give them handfuls and <laughs> he still wasn't. So yes, needless to say, I still have this huge bucket of um, Halloween candy. So thankfully though, I know there are some cool programs where you can, you know, like donate leftover Halloween candy. So that's what we're gonna do because we have so many, we have so much and I'm like, I do not need it in the house and there's no way I'm gonna save it for next year. Like, I don't I do not do that. I'm just like, I don't, yeah, I'm like, ew, candy's only good for so long. <laughs> so yes, but I was just like, <laughs> I was just cracking up because he's like, yes, I was counting and I handed out two pieces to each person. And I'm like, no, you don't have to do that. So it was just kind of funny because that's, that's just kind of the way my husband thinks. He's very uh, logical and precise and um, I'm not so much that way. And so it was just kind of funny to see the differences between uh, how he hands out candy and how I do. So next year uh, will be determined uh, who ends up handing out the candy and who doesn't. Oh, Lord, guys, we've got some more. 
static drills coming your way. Goodness gracious. Let's see what we can do here. These are, eh. These are really staticky. Those pink ones and these blue ones, man, they're just like, they don't, they don't wanna, they don't wanna be kitted up. They just wanna stay. Look at that. They're like all sticking to my fingers. Oh, shoot. Oh, no, guys. I'm gonna make a mess in front of you. Maybe this is a video on how not to kit up. We'll see. <laughs> you guys are like gonna move to the next video. It's okay. I don't blame you. So, let's see here. Yeah, these are super static. Really static. Oh my goodness gracious. Okay. These just don't want to move. They're like, no, we don't we don't want to be kitted up. We want to we want to stay in our package. So yeah, so um that was Halloween. So yeah, pretty calm, pretty uneventful. It was lovely. I I'm, I'm like, I'm all good with that. It was just very, I don't know, just kind of a church traditional old-fashioned Halloween and we made it an early night um and that's part of it too like not only because we had you know a church to go to early in the morning but also um my daughter she just ooh, she is a different kid when she doesn't get her sleep and and honestly so am I like I'm I'm kind of you know I'm a morning person but if I don't get my sleep then um I'm not so much of a morning person. I'm actually quite a, a grumpy person. So maybe you guys haven't seen that side of me yet, but I'm sure eventually you will. <laughs> it happens. But yeah. So then Tuesday, uh, Tuesday, let's see. Uh, Tuesday was different. So, um, you know, I, so I uh, go to therapy. Um, just to help me uh, process a lot of different things. And I went to therapy even before uh, my autism diagnosis. Like I've been, I've been in and out of therapy kind of, um, Lord guys, we're have more of this. This is like, I don't know. I don't want you guys to see static drills the whole time. Cause this is really kind of silly, really silly. These are like ridiculously static. So, uh, so yeah, so Tuesday I had a therapy session and uh, it was a little more intensive and I knew it was coming, like I was kind of preparing for this one. So um, honestly, still kind of processing it. So I'll probably have more thoughts on it, uh, you know, as I'm still kind of just, um, you know, just still kind of digesting everything and kind of thinking through things, but it was good. I mean, it was a very good session. But yeah, just kind of a lot to digest and um, I mean, it's all good things. It's, it's definitely good and I'm glad I'm going through this process because it's kind of a, a new type of therapy that I'm doing with the same therapist. Like I've, I've been seeing her now for, um, oh gosh, now I think I've been seeing her, I think like three years now. Um, yeah, and I love her. She's amazing. She's absolutely fantastic and um, yeah, but we're kind of trying a new type of therapy and, um, again, it's great, but it definitely kind of makes you, uh, dig pretty deep. And again, that's good. I think it's good to be feeling those emotions and to be working through them. But yeah, I mean, for someone like me who already takes kind of longer to process emotions anyways, and I have to kind of double check with even how I'm feeling. Like it takes me a moment to even recognize, okay, what emotion am I actually feeling right now? So for me, it definitely takes a little more time to, um, you know, just process all that. So that's kind of what I'm doing. But again, overall, I'm, I'm really happy. Like I'm happy that I'm doing it. I think it's a great thing. So yeah, so that was Tuesday. And really just because of that session, I was pretty wiped out because usually Tuesday, I like to, you know, participate in the lives. Like, um, I really like uh, Edward and Elizabeth's lives with the Enablers Outpost and I love Bev, Bev B's lives and uh, I just wasn't with it. Um, so unfortunately, I'm gonna have to watch the replays on that because I always like their lives. But I just, look at that. Those are like still sticking to the tube static anyways but yeah so uh but oh there's one more green one 
I don't want to miss one. There we go. But it was good. And then let's see. So really, um, Wednesday, which was yesterday, um, had a doctor's appointment, which was good. So yeah, just kind of that time of year where I'm getting all my doctor's appointments in. And it was good, just kind of reassessing some things. Um, back in February, before I even you know, started my channel, or goodness, even started diamond painting, um, there was uh, some things that were recommended to me, um, a surgery, really. And uh, I wanted to hold off on it, because, you know, just really wasn't ready to have any type of surgery yet. And I'm kind of at the point now, so that was, you know, goodness, nine months ago. And I'm kind of at the point now where I might need to reassess things, unfortunately. So we'll see. So, you know, once I kind of think more through that, I will definitely share that with you guys. Um, it's, it's not like life altering or anything like that. You know, it's not life or death or anything. So, you know, don't want to like freak you guys out or anything like that. It's just, you know, something that just may have to happen. And, you know, um, it's kind of a surgery that, you know, at 36 years old, I didn't think I would need to think about at this time. But it just may have to, you know, just may have to be in the card. So, so yeah, so had my appointment regarding that. And yeah, just kind of, you know, thinking about that and looking, uh, you know, thinking about how that's going to be. And um, if that's something, again, I <laughs> kind of already put it off for nine months. So at this point, it's like, okay, it's really probably time to... Uh, make a decision regarding that. So that's kind of where I'm at right now. And obviously, you know, it's a decision I want to talk with about with my husband too. So yeah, but again, nothing like life altering or anything like that. It's just something that, uh, mm, you know, just got to think about. And it is, it's a, it's a, you know, somewhat of a recovery process. And I just don't like surgery. I've, I've had, you know, a few in my life and yeah, I just would rather not. <laughs> just, you know, I don't know anyone who's like, yes, sign me up for surgery. <laughs> so, yeah, but that's really all how my how my week has gone. Um yeah, it's been it's been good though. I mean, pretty pretty chill. So just kind of upcoming things though is um going to be working on these two projects. So I've got this um, spaghetti breakfast one, and then I'm going to be doing Mary Did You Know, which I'm really excited about. That's by, you know, Diamond Art Club as well, and it's a Mandy Manzano. And uh, if you didn't see, um, I did make a post in my community tab that uh, it's kind of a passion project of mine, and, you know, I'm kind of in the middle of still developing it and seeing what direction I want to go in, but I do want to start kind of making some diamond painting content for children, uh, you know, and if this is your first time watching me, or if you don't know a lot about me, so I was a special education teacher for 12 years, and I kind of, I worked with all ages, but my niche was definitely kind of that um, middle elementary grade level, so that's kind of where I'm focusing maybe some of my content on that I want to make for kids is kind of that, you know, like second to sixth grade range, possibly. Uh, not only that, you know, I kind of have a daughter in that range too. So she's kind of already been like, well, mom, that's too babyish. Or no, mom, that's just right. She's definitely, uh, you know, my sounding board and definitely gives me an opinion on things with that. So yeah, kind of... Uh, thinking about how, what direction I want to go with that. And I'm really excited. So with it, it's it's not going to be like a whole new channel or anything like that. It's going to be on my existing channel. However, you know, what I'm thinking is, you know, like twice a month to do just a, a kid's video and really just center it towards kids, maybe kind of like a how-to diamond painting uh, using, you know, more of a, a kid's geared product. And there is one I've already have that, you know, I'm going to probably be using for the first video. 
And yeah, so I'm really excited about that because I really think this is an awesome, uh, I think this is a great craft for kind of that age. I think it's uh, a great way to kind of practice uh, mindfulness and to, sorry guys, my dogs obviously see something out there. Um, I think it's a great way to practice mindfulness for kids. You know, I think that's definitely something that unfortunately, you know, kids don't get a lot of. And, uh, you know, at least based on my experiences in the classroom. And if you're a teacher watching, I'd like to look at that. I'm just getting everywhere, guys. These drills, they're so staticky. Goodness gracious. Oh, Lord, guys. I don't know. You may not see the rest of this kit up if, if it's going at this pace. <laughs> Again, if anyone has any recommendations for static drills, let me know. Because this is a train wreck. <laughs> they just, like, do not want to cut. Like, they are, like, sticking to the rim of this container, too. Goodness. Come on, DAC. <laughs> I'm calling you out. They probably won't like that if I do that. I won't say that, but. <laughs> um, anyways, yeah, so I'm excited. I'm here talking about mindfulness while I'm yelling at these drills. That's good, Hannah. Anyways, <laughs> um, yeah, so I'm really excited um, just kind of to see where it goes, you know. Um, I'm sure it'll, it will evolve with time, but it's definitely something I'm passionate about because you know, I left the classroom, but I still love, you know, there's so many parts of it that I still really miss about it. You know, there, there really are. I really loved coming up with, um, I, I really loved designing lesson plans and, and utilizing curriculum in different creative ways. And I miss that part a lot. Um, I really miss that part a lot. And, you know, unfortunately, uh, where I was just really didn't allow for that anymore. And, uh, you know, so that was kind of one of my main reasons for, for eventually leaving. But, uh, yeah, I, I really want to see kind of where it goes. So that's kind of what, um, my plan is, is to kind of do, uh, two, two videos a month that kind of focuses more on kids content. And I've even kind of redesigned, you know, it's cause I, I do want to, to you know, appear separate. It'll still be part of my channel, but it'll obviously be uh, focused. And I, you know, I have to follow. Um, I think it like COPPA guidelines, like C O P P A, like with with you know what YouTube um, deems like you know appropriate for children and things like that. So yeah, making children's content too. There's a lot more uh, regulations and rules that you need to follow as well. So I definitely want to make sure that. You know, I'm, I'm following all those rules and doing what's appropriate and things like that. So, yeah, so just kind of seeing, going through that right now. But right now I'm kind of in the middle of designing some new thumbnails for that and designing a, kind of a new intro video. So you can tell that it's definitely more geared towards children or at least, you know, that particular video is and things like that. So a little bit of rebranding, but only for the kids content. Everything else will still be, you know, the same stuff I do, but you know, when it's a kids video that I release, obviously it might look uh, a little different. So yeah, I'm really excited though. I think it'll be fun and kind of excited to see where that goes. And yeah, we'll just, we'll just see what happens, but I think it'll be fun. I'm excited. Again, it's definitely something I'm passionate about. I still, there's still so many aspects of teaching that I really miss. Um, and, you know, we'll, we'll just see what happens with this. So, I really, ooh, is that all going to fit? Ah, oh, yes, that whole bag fit. That was awesome. Ooh, yay, and there was just a couple of stragglers this time. Not so many statics. Ha, good. Okay. Nice. Goodness, it's so much easier when they're not all sticking to the bag. Oh, that's nice. Okay, that went faster. Good. All right, four more bags, guys. Four more bags. Maybe I can finish this kid up video for you. I'm just going to cut through them real quick. So they're a little easier to get through. All right, but this is $3.55. So, yeah. So, anyways, I hope... 
everyone is doing well. So make sure you tell me in the comments um, what you're doing. Um, I know probably so, kind of again with future stuff too. So I'm definitely gonna be uh, releasing, kind of, oh, these are gonna be static again, goodness. Maybe, oh, that was a mistake, Hannah. Um, so um, those are kind of the plans as far as content going forward. You know, I've definitely got some post reviews uh, that I need to do. Obviously, I'm gonna do a post review on Alice in Snow White uh, because, you know, I want, uh, I want you guys to see that finished and reviewed and things like that. So, yeah, and then uh, as far as like just personal plans, uh, I'm pretty excited because this Thanksgiving, oh Lord, like guys, this is like, <laughs> this is so going to be a video of what not to do. So please use this as an example of, you know, maybe I am going to have to use a funnel because this is clearly not effective um yeah this would have been done so much i would have been done by now guys this video is going to be way longer than what i attended because of these drills <laughs> i might have to break out a funnel because this is clearly clearly not working so yeah anyhow let's see if i can Sorry guys, it may be off frame for a second, but I'm just gonna scrape these off the edge of my desk and do it old school that way because that's just kind of sometimes what you have to do. Sometimes the old ways are the best ways. <laughs> Watch, I'm gonna be doing this and then I run out of this color drill because of this way that I'm doing, but we'll see. Oh, there we go. Okay, I got them all. I'm sorry, guys. If I'm off frame right now, it's because desperate times call for desperate measures. And these are so staticky. Oh, does anyone else get annoyed by staticky drills? Hopefully, this video isn't annoying you because these staticky drills are annoying me. Oh, got it. Oh, Lord, guys, there's even more. Um, okay, hold on. I'm going to pull out a funnel. I have one, where is it? I had it, and then I put it somewhere. Oh no. You know what, maybe what I'll do is I'll just dump them into this tray and go like that. Ha, there we go. Ooh, ooh, they, okay, gentle, Hannah, gentle. There we go. I might just do that. There we go. Now we'll pour, see if that's better. It kind of is and it kind of isn't. Now they're sticking to the tray. Well, just so you know, you guys can definitely tell that the drills to this kit are really staticky. I feel like it's been at least half the colors. I mean, you guys have seen, it's only 17 colors in this kit. And these are, look at this. They, oh, this is ridiculous. I'm sorry guys, I may be cutting this shorter. You may not see the last two colors kitted up because <laughs> this is ridiculous. Look at this. Static everywhere. Goodness. Goodness, goodness, goodness. Okay, this actually, you know what? This might be a good time to end and I apologize. You may just have to uh, trust me when I say that the rest of it was kitted up because this is pretty silly to have to go after all these stuff. Like look, they're sticking everywhere. Very, very staticky, not cool. And I only have two colors left too. I really wanna finish this kit up video for you guys, but um, yeah, it just may be different. But okay, we'll see. I'm gonna try and persevere guys. And you know what? If you end up stopping this video, it's okay. Won't hurt my feelings. <laughs> Anyways, um, yeah, so um, I'm excited because for Thanksgiving, uh, we're gonna go see my parents in Arizona and I'm really excited. I have not spent uh, a holiday with them 
uh, in a couple of years since before uh, since before the it that shall not be named happened. So I'm really excited, and I'm really excited, you know, for my for my daughter too because you know um, uh, she doesn't get to see this, her grandparents on you know my parents as much. So I'm really excited that she gets to do that. And it's in Northern Arizona, so it's super fun. I remember the last time we spent Thanksgiving out there, um, we like literally the day after we got there, they got like three feet of snow. It's pretty awesome because they're up in the mountains in Arizona. Um, the elevation up there is about like 7,000 feet. So pretty high up there. So yeah, so I'm really excited about that. Um, so probably the week of Thanksgiving, obviously, and I think probably a lot of content creators might be the same way. I'm, I doubt I'll be posting any videos. However, um, what I am excited about, um, you know, I won't be completely silent because the fun thing about my parents' house is they have lots and lots of goats. They have a goat farm and have baby goats. So if you follow me on Instagram, or maybe I might just make a couple of short videos and put them up on YouTube, of just fun uh, baby goats frolicking around. So if that's something you may wanna see, let me know and I will. I will be happy to post videos and fun things like that if you like to see uh, baby goats frolicking around and having fun. So that's what we'll do. All right, so, all right guys, one more package. Okay, cross your fingers that this isn't static. Because I think what I'm going to do is pour this in. So here's another thing too. So when I kid up, if I have uh, like an extra, ooh, are they all going to fit? Are they all going to fit? <gasps> they are. Yes. These are all going to fit. So I'm going to try and kind of get out the rest in this tray. Because there's not many. It's not like the train wreck that just happened. And I'm gonna, ah, oh, ha, ha, okay, pretty good. Not as bad as that last color. Couple of stragglers, but not bad. Just gotta pick them up with my fingers, good. They stuck in, well, they kinda stuck in. Static drills, static drills. Should make a song about it, like a Christmas song. Like instead of jingle bells, it could be static drills. Like static drills, static drills. Static all the way. They won't go in my container. And they seem to, I don't know, drift away. Hey, static drills, static drills. Anyways, there you go. You guys can have a lovely song. Hope that gets stuck in your head. <laughs> it's like going to be the horrible earworm. Um, yeah, look at this. See, I just put more in and then more come out because of the static. This is... This is like, this is, guys, I gotta say, I'm sorry. This is like the worst case of static drills I've ever had. Like, they're pretty bad. I don't think I've ever had drills this static before. Um, yeah, I mean, these are, these are pretty bad. Okay, they're in their container. So, now what I do when I have another whole package of the same color, honestly, guys, I don't open it until I need it. So I'm just going to stick that on top of there and, you know, call it good. I, yeah, I'm just like, I don't, I figured I don't need it until I need it. So that's what I do. I just kind of stick it on top. And then when I need it, that's when I end up opening it and call it good. So all right, last package, last package, if you're still with me and if you're still watching, <laughs> if you stuck to it till the end. All right, let's see, ooh, all right, this probably won't fit all of them, that's okay. So with that, then I'm just gonna put this on, but as you can see from this kit, um, you know, I'm just gonna put it in an extra spare here, call it good. And I'm just gonna, because the nice thing is, I can kind of just rearrange all these and I'll push this one back and slide these over. And I'll just put the extra one 
next to it and that's okay if they're out of order that's okay because they have the labels on them so i can still see so as you can see guys um you know the way i kid up there's not always you know an exact rhyme or reason to how i kid up you know with kidding up kidding up is you know kind of how you do it it's personal to you whatever system works for you you know is, is how you do it and that's okay there's nothing wrong with that so yeah there we go ah those ones weren't a static yay all right so look at that we are all kitted up thank goodness i'm gonna leave that package for later so yeah what i love about this system is i'm just gonna stick my drawer in right and look that spare bag just fits right in there and slides in to my cool little art block container and then what i think i'm gonna do is so i know that this is for this set i'm just gonna take this and I am going to just, I'm not going to, you know, take off the sticker is I'm just going to take a piece of tape here and stick it on the back of this and looky there. I know that this is for that kit. There we go. Yay! All done with an unboxing and kit up, guys. Look at that. You got two in one. Um, anyways, so you know what? We're going to leave off there. But please, in the comments, let me know how you're doing. Uh, feel free to let me know, like, what are you guys doing for Thanksgiving? What are your plans? Um, I'd love to know. I always appreciate you guys watching, liking, subscribing. Believe me, I'm just so incredibly humbled by um, everything that's happened since I started this channel. It's just been such a joy for me. And uh, I really hope, you know, like I always say, I hope this video brings you joy because it really is. It's, it's such a joy for me to make them. And I really appreciate, you know, all the support you guys have given me. It truly is just very, very kind. And uh, it's such an awesome community. So I will leave it there. And I will see you the next time. Bye.